Hi, I am Shri. I am here to show you my cool project. This is my scrolling LED badge. When people ask me what it is, I say it's my smartphone. Many people will tell you that modular smartphones are a failed concept. The phone blocks concept aimed to move phones towards a modular architecture with the objective of reducing electronic waste. Google's project ARA raised hopes of creating a cross-vendor ecosystem of plug-and-play modules that could be swapped in and out with Lego-like simplicity. Unfortunately, project ARA was suspended in 2016. This is our DIY modular smartphone kit. We call it Kite. Kite includes important parts that are in every smartphone. With Kite, you can use common electronic components like displays, sensors, batteries, and antennas. Using your favorite 3D printer, you will be able to build your very own device. We have many 3D printable designs to get you started. My phone is a completely DIY 3D printed Android smartphone. It has a layout similar to many phones with a few differences. The USB connector is by the side. The 8 megapixel camera is on the back. The biggest twist is this bright LED display. This is actually the Pi Moroni Scroll P Hat HD, which gives me 17 by 7 old school goodness. When the phone is asleep, I use this as my name badge, a great conversation starter. I can also use the badge as a torch when I need. It's super bright. I can add more displays to my phone for specific uses. Commonly available organic LED displays work great to show notifications. By customizing Android, I can see notifications that are important to me at a glance. These notifications are visible even when the phone is in sleep mode. When I need entertainment, I play retro games on the OLED displays. These displays consume very little power, letting me play for a very long time. I have customized the case to include dedicated buttons to play paddle ball. Game on! I can easily use common sensors on my phone. This time of flight laser distance sensor from Adafruit works great. The distance value can be used in Android applications. This could be used to measure distance to objects, scene mapping, or even to prevent distracted phone users from bumping into others. I can make and include custom keypads on the casing like Tipo. Tipo is a braille keypad designed as a smartphone attachment. It connects to smartphones with a USB cable. We integrated Tipo with Kite by a simple modification of the design of the back cover. Every button on this keypad is interfaced as a simple switch. This simplifies the hardware. And now for something completely different. This phone has an antenna poking out and a bulge on the back. But why? This phone runs on my favorite AA batteries. I have disabled the battery charger to use these in my phone. Four screws hold the battery pack in place. I get a fairly poor signal at home, but that's not a problem for me anymore. I use an external antenna for better connectivity. I have modified my phone to include an SMA connector. The SMA connector allows me to plug in standard antennas, including this compact LTE antenna. Let's turn this on and see how well this will work. And it works! Kite is the world's first DIY modular smartphone platform. Thanks for your time.